Yeah, hey everybody. So I wanted to make a really quick update to the Choosing the Best WordPress theme for you, uh, January 2017 edition. This was actually written quite a bit of time ago. There are, uh, it looks like 13 different posts in this series, directory business tips or um, authority site marketing tips. Uh, and we cover just a whole range of different strategies for building a an authority site using specifically directory style frameworks. Uh, although we certainly cover lots of other alternatives, which I also think you ought to explore. Um, but I did I do realize that most folks who are coming to this uh, series are really only reading this particular post, this particular. Um, you know, how to post is really getting the vast majority of the traffic. And it appears like most folks aren't really going or digging much deeper than this. So with that in mind, I wanted to make a couple quick suggestions. One, if it's, if you're reading this in January of 2017, um, I recommend it at the end of this. And if you look at the comments, there, you know, is a lot of extra detail as to why this is but really, I recommend Listify as the, um, you know, as the framework that you want to go with if you're serious about building a directory using WordPress. Um, you know, I sort of tease Listify in this uh, post. I made some sort of silly comments about the guy who runs or you know the company behind the, the framework, all in jest. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of being facetious and being a little silly and being a little immature. But in general, Listify is really a um, you know, a great way of quickly and easily building a directory style business using WordPress. Now, the caveat to this in the uh, post is App Themes Vantage, um, which for years has been a uniform and singular uh, under one umbrella style solution for building a, a, a WordPress based directory. But it's just looked terrible for years. It's really had a very dated, um, you know, aesthetic that they haven't updated for many, many years. Many, many, maybe an exaggeration. Let's call it four years, five years. For as long as I've been doing this, Vantage has sort of looked kind of shitty, to be honest with you. I recommended in this post, and many of you have, have gone and done this, buying one of the, the, the child themes. In, in which case you can upgrade the aesthetic or the appearance of the site in a really inexpensive way. I think the child theme that I purchased cost maybe 40 bucks. It was directory, uh, you know, by van. It was actually the name, not to be confusing, but the name of the child theme was directory. Uh, and it's a child theme offered by job themes as a child theme advantage. That aside, the good news is, as of this writing, uh, App Themes, <clears throat> excuse me, is about ready to release uh, an incredibly updated aesthetic improvement on uh, on Vantage. So you can see that live if you go to VantageTheme.com, I believe is the live URL, or just go to App Themes and look at their blog and the most recent blog post has the live version of what's coming in the next week or so. So do I think that's a better um, alternative than using Listify? Actually, for many of us, it probably is. I still think Listify looks better. I still think it has more functionality. You can do more cool things. For example, you can attach products uh, to your listings, which means that you can tell a business, you know, for a premium price, you not only get a listing, you not only get a featured listing, you also can attach your services to your listing. So you can, you know, through you through using WooCommerce and some of the other Listify um, recommended plugins, you can really build a marketplace in addition to or running concurrent to your directory, which really is powerful. Um, Vantage doesn't, at this point, the way I see it, give you the same options, although that live, um, you know, their new theme may, you know, with additional plugins or additional uh, marketplace 
um, you know, other people who are producing content for uh, app themes may make that equally as possible. But the reason that Vantage, in my mind, is worth considering um, is it's just a uniform solution. So there's no, you're not, you're not relying on dependencies or a variety of different plugin makers or different plugin updates when something breaks in Listify, for an example, or any of the themes that use the WP manager style um, solutions. You're, you're really at the, you're vulnerable. You're at the mercy of, a, of all things working uh, in, in, you know, in concert together to make your site run smoothly and in an operational way. If something, if, you know, if something is out of sorts or out of order, or there's an update to one and the other hasn't, you know, if you have one element of the theme, let's call it the theme itself, which is updated, but it's not playing well with the most recent WooCommerce uh, version, or, you know, there's some conflict your site goes down. And if you're running a successful directory, and this is obviously what the point is here, you're not, you know, this is not for shits and giggles. You're trying to run a business. If you have people who are depending on you and you are depending on all these various uh, plugins playing well together, you're potentially going to have a problem. So in that respect, while I think Vantage you know, even their newest version, which looks really good relative to the older version, it still doesn't quite look as good, in my view, um, aesthetically, as Listify or Listable or some of those choices. I I think for you know a hundred bucks or less, which is what I think Vantage cost sixty nine as of today, which is the fourteenth of January. Um, I think it's a great option, and I, and I think that there's a lot of possibility uh, when this thing gets released in the next couple of days with plugins that the community will be creating, uh, enhancements, extensions, and so forth. I just think it's a wise thing to look at. So um, that's my recommendation as of today, which is mid-January 2017. Again, lots of folks are going to be looking at this, uh, hopefully, throughout various time period. So I will update that as needed. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, send me an email, enrhollander at gmail.com. If you want to work together uh, to, to figure out how to monetize your directory, um, you know, feel free to leave comments on this post. As you can see below, I am happy to answer uh, anything that I am skilled enough to, uh, you know, to, to, to help you with. Um, and if you want to work with me uh, privately, feel free to let me know uh, via the comments or send me an email or use the contact form on the site. All right. Hope all is well. And I thank you for watching.